I am filled with ancient longing To arise and go forth singing Sing my songs and say my sayings Hymns ancestral harmonizing Lore of kindred lyricking To my mouth the words are melting Utterances overflowing To my tongue are hurrying Come, my brother, little brother, pretty playmate of my childhood. Start with me now for the singing, sit together for the speaking. Now that we have come together, after separate pathways traveled, seldom do we come together, rarely do we have each other in these ragged border regions. These benighted northern marches Strike we now hand into hand Fingers into curve of fingers So that we may sing good songs Voice the best of all our legends For the hearing of our loved ones Those who want to learn from us Those among the rising young ones Of the growing generations Magic verses we have gathered, kindled by the inspiration from the belt of Vitaminin, from the forge of Ilmarinen, sword blade of the man far minded, aim of Yoka Hyden's crossbow, from the wayback fields of Northland, from the heaths of Kaleva. Long ago my father sang them. While he carved his axe's handle And my mother also taught me Though she kept her spindle spinning As I milk-bearded mischief maker Rolled about the floor before her Magic never failed the sample Lucky never left for spells Olden story grew the sample In her spells all he vanished In his singing with an end In his capers Lemminkainen There are other words of magic Incantations I have gathered Plucked in passing from the wayside Others broke off from the heather Some I gathered from the bush is some I pulled from tender saplings Rubbed from hay tips, snatched from hedges While I roamed about the deer trails Then the frost was singing verses Many rhymes the rain recited On the sea waves songs came drifting Other poems winds delivered And the verses birds have added and the treetops incantations These I rolled up in a ball Made a fitting yarn ball of them On my sled I put the yarn ball On my sleigh I hauled it home Right up to the threshing barn Hid it in a copper casket Long and lonely in the darkness In the cold my verses lie Shall I take my verses out, save my songs from freezing weather, bring the casket to the cottage, put it on the bench and there, underneath this splendid ceiling and beneath this famous roof tree? Shall I take my verses out, treasure box of magic sayings, snip the end off of the yarn ball and undo the knot entirely? I will sing a good song for you and I'll make it beautiful. Do it on a rye diet, wash it down with barley beer. If by chance no beer is brought to me, no drink offered for the singer. From a leaner mouth I'll warble, sing along on water only To make this evening's joy more joyful, honoring this famous day Or tomorrow's joy it may be, with the dawn the new day opens Thus I heard the poems recited, learned how verses were composed 
Lonely come the nights upon us, lonely dawn the brightening days. Lonely born was Vitamin, and all alone the poor immortal. From the beautiful who bore him, from his mother Ilmata. She the virgin of the air, lovely maiden nature's child. Long maintained in holiness, her eternal maidenhood. In those far horizon heavens, level meadows of the air. But in time she wearied of it, grew estranged from this sod living. Always being by herself, always living as a virgin. In those far horizon heavens, in those vast and empty spaces. So at length she then descended to the sea waves down below. Out upon the open ocean, out upon the clear sea surface, when suddenly a storm wind blew, out the east an angry blast blew the water to a foam, heaving up the rollers high. By the wind the maid was rocked, on a wave the maid was driven, all across the sea's blue surface, by the whirling white caps lifted, where her womb the wind awakened, and the sea foam filled her belly. Thus a full womb now she carried, Long she bore her burden belly. Seven hundred years she bore it for nine lifetimes of a man. Yet the borning was unborn, still the baby undelivered. As the mother of the water, aimlessly the virgin drifted. She swam eastward, she swam westward, she swam north and she swam southward. In the anguish of her birth pains, in her belly's bursting pains. Yet the borning was unborn, still the baby undelivered. So the mother of the water said a word and spoke out thus. Woe is me, the water wanderer, luckless girl, misfortune's child. Now already I'm in trouble, shelterless beneath the sky, ever rocking by the sea waves to be cradled by the wind, ever driven by the billows, endlessly repeated billows. Better had it been for me to have stayed the airy virgin than to be as I am now, drifting as the water mother. It's too cold for me to stay here, painful to be drifting here. O oh, thou wook, O oh Lord of all, Hear me now, the all-sustainer. Come, O oh, come, where thou art needed. Come, O oh, come, where thou art called. Release the maiden from her misery and the woman from her womb. Come thou quickly, soon arriving, where thy help is sooner needed. Then a bit of time passed by, like a tiny rush of rain, when the scalp, the honest bird, came a-huffing, fluttering over, searching for a nesting place, for a spot to build her home on. She flew eastward, she flew westward, she flew north and she flew southward, but she cannot find a spot. Even in the worst of places, where to build her needful nest, where to set up her abode. Huffering, fluttering, flying over, thus she thought and pondered it. Shall I make my home on wind, build my hut upon the billows, for the wind to blow it over, or the waves to wash away? Mother of the water, 
God of Mother Mary Maiden Lifts her knee above the water And her shoulder above the waves As a refuge for the scalp And a welcome nesting place Then the scalp, the honest bird Offering, fluttering, flying over by the water mother's knee Lifted above the sea's blue surface Took it for a grassy tussock Or a new-grown tuft of turf Offering, fletchling, flying over She settles on the lifted kneecap It is there she builds her nest There she lays her golden eggs Six the golden eggs she laid But the seventh was of iron She began to hatch her eggs there Heating up the lifted kneecap Brooded one day, brooded two days Even on the third day brooding And the mother of the water Little mother airy maiden Felt the rising heat upon her Felt as though her skin were scorching Thought her kneecap was on fire That her very veins were melting Suddenly she jerks her knee Agitating every member And the eggs rolled to the water To the tumbling of the tides Into bits the eggs were broken Shattered into crumbs and pieces But the bits and pieces were not Mixed up with the mud and water For at once their crumbs grew comely And the pieces beautiful One egg's lower half transformed And became the earth below us And the upper part transmuted And became the sky above us From the yoke the sun was made Light of day to shine above us And the white changed into moon Light of day to gleam above us And the colored brighter bits Rose to be the stars in heaven And the darker parts changed into Clouds and cloudlets in the sky Quickly now the time moves forward As the hurrying years go by And the newborn sun is shining And the newborn moon is gleaming Still the mother goes on swimming Water mother airy maiden Out upon that open ocean O'er the misty sea waves wandering Before her flowed the liquid deep Behind her shone the empty heavens In the ninth year, tenth of summer She raised her head above the waves Lifts her crown above the surface Gets to work on her creations Hastens on her handiwork Out upon the open ocean Where she gave her hand a turn There she put the capes in order Where her foot struck bottom there Grottos for the fish were formed Where the bubbles reached the surface There the deeps were made still deeper Where her side had scraped the land There the level shores appeared Where she turned her foot to landward There the salmon grounds were made Where her forehead touched the land There the broad bays opened out Then she swam out from the surface Halted on the sea's clear surface There she raised the little isles There she made the hidden reefs Where the grounded ships would founder Many seamen lose his life Now the islands were in order And the little isles made Pillars for the sky were planted, lands and continents created. On the rocks the writs were written, and the signs drawn on the cliffs. Yet Vinamunin is unborn, poet eternal not emerge. 
Old reliable vitamin in, traveled in his mother's womb, traveled there for thirty summers and as many winters too. In that misty world of water, on that ocean now so peaceful, he is pondering, he is thinking, how to live or how survive. In that dismal hiding place, in that narrow wist of dwellings, where he never saw the moon, never got a glimpse of sunlight. So he says out in these words, speaks out in these sentences, Free me, moon and sun, release me, thou great bear do ever guide me, lead a man here through strange doors, through these unfamiliar gates. Free me from this narrow nest, from this dismal hiding place. Lead the traveler to the land, child of mankind to the open, to behold the moon in heaven, and to wonder at the daylight. Get to know the great bear's grandeur, or just stare up at the stars. But since the moon did not arrive, nor the sun come to release him, alienated from his birth time, impatient of this dull existence, he pushed against the prison lock. Pressing with a nameless finger, slid the bony bolt aside. Grabbling out with nails he came, tumbling headlong to the waters, with a hand turned in the waves. There the man was left alone, in the rough care of the billows. There he drifted for five years. Six or seven, even eight years, till at last he reached the surface on that nameless continent. Struggling up on knee and elbow, he stood up to see the world, to behold the moon in heaven, and to wonder at the daylight. Get to know the great bear's grandeur, or just stare up at the stars. That was the birth of Anamurnin, such the daring poet's descent. From the beautiful who bore him, from his mother, Ilma.